Hey guys, how's it going? Firebox here. Nuclear Warlock is back, and I'm here to explain to you the build and why it still works. First and foremost, you're going to want Malice, Dark Reflection, Dark Enchantment, Anti-Magic, and for your skills, you're going to want Corruption and Phantom Eyes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do I have no spells, but a spellbook? The spellbook is here to try to trick people into not realizing that we don't have spells. Because this build lacks mobility, it can be kind of hard to deal with certain classes. The big thing that changed is because magic power now is higher on certain pieces of gear, you can get up to a magical power of plus five. And for those of you that don't know, if you can get to a magic power bonus of 40, you get to 60% power and start to go up past that, you start to get diminishing returns on all of your additional magic power. Our crystal sword in this case will give us that additional magic power as needed. The general game plan for this build is use ale because it lasts for 15 seconds. Use phantom eyes because it's only six seconds, meaning you should have ale after the fact. And then hopefully if you're nearby close enough, you can use your bullet of corruption and try to kill them off before they have a chance to react. I am personally going to recommend at least a blue or purple crystal sword because the green ones just don't feel like they do enough magic damage. Really, you need at least that blue or purple quality to make sure that you're scaling enough to be able to kill people. This build is definitely not as good as it used to be, but I do think there is some viability in this build. I do just want to mention, once you hit 40 magical power, I do recommend trying to stack strength and or agility. Agility is definitely the most important stat for this build because trying to catch up to certain classes can be tough. I was fortunate not to die throughout my entire run, so I will quickly just show off. I have my purple crystal sword, shadow mask with plus two all through magic power, a coldest tunic, leather leggings, lightfoot boots with two strength, Riveted gloves with an additional two agility, plus one all win locket, a wearing of resolve to try to get us to that 40 threshold, and a ring of courage. And again, our spellbook is there just to try to trick people up. Let's go ahead and get into the PvP of the video.
I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, sub to the channel for future content, and comment below any suggestions you might have. I want to thank Kid Brutal, Old Duck, and Gamatron for supporting this video, alongside all of our other members. Thank you all. Have a good day.